Hi, John. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Sue. Um, can you tell me a bit about where you teach and any advice you'd have for students in terms of how lecturers can support them? Certainly, yes. Uh, so I teach on the Wexford campus and I teach in the Department of Humanities, mainly on the social care and early childhood programmes. Um, I suppose my advice to students and very welcome to everybody into the first time into higher education, if it is your first time in, uh, what I'd say is that firstly, I think that learning is a social and emotional experience. And I suppose that's what we do well in SETU is that, you know, our classrooms and our class sizes are intentionally small. So we get to know you. So do, you know, get to know your lecturers and allow your lecturers to support you because I think how you feel about entering into a room uh, helps your learning. The second thing I'd say then about, you know, um, the art of learning and maybe the best way for you to approach your higher education journey is there's kind of three aspects of learning and like a, a lot of research would indicate that you know how you get information into your head or how you encode information is important so do that whichever way you think is best for you whether that is lecture notes whether it's a podcast whether it's a video just get the information into your head whichever way you think is best for you and and allow your lecturer to support you with that the second stage of that is about you know how you store that information and use the lecture and the lecture room to help you identify key parts of that information what's important for me to know here and that's really kind of a, a process of getting that information to stick how do you get it to stick to your to your, what you need to know and the last part which i think people often forget and probably the most important and i think is where the magic of learning happens is where you start to retrieve that information. So how do I get that information back out of my head? How do I pull that information out? And that is really the, the secret and magic of learning. And I think if you're able to use the lecture to discuss, to you know, uh, put your point across, you're retrieving information. And as a result, you're allowing it to kind of stick and pull uh, all the information out. Um, and so that's my advice if you can, just follow that kind of simple guide of uh, encode, store and retrieve and uh, you will you'll find your learning journey much more rewarding um, and you know allow your lecturers to to work with you around that and we will support and help you in you know in that process. Brilliant thank you John it's really good advice so it's all about the how identifying I suppose the ways that work for you in terms of processing the information which would be some that would be in line with kind of some of the, the study skills and stuff that we're covering in this program. It's like it's not all about, say, writing everything down. It's really about what's going to work for you to so you can recall that information when you need it. Um, Absolutely. It's about how you get that back out as well. And, and you know, that's the, the beauty of the lectures. And that's why we use the lectures uh, to, for facilitating that, you know, to facilitate the knowledge journey of getting it in and allowing you to kind of process it and reflect on that information. And that's really uh, key to your learning. And I think if you're able to do that, you'll find information, you'll find the lectures much more easier to deal with as time goes on. Okay, brilliant. And um, one last question for you. Are there any particular obstacles, I suppose, in your experience that students tend to encounter? Um, and have you any advice in, in terms of that or what to watch out for, I suppose? Yeah, and I think some of the obstacles uh, students often uh, get stumbled upon is actually outside of the lecture room. Um, so, you know, what I'd say about our approach is that it's not just the explicit content that you're going to be looking at. Like a lot of our approach here is the implicit curriculum. You know, what goes on, how we meet and greet people in, in the corridor, how we respond to emails you know, even um, having a coffee with your lecturer and say, look, I'm really struggling here. And I think where people actually struggle is when they don't share the problems that they're having. So come to us, talk to us, we'll support you, we'll give you, you know, other links to support if we can't do it, that's happening outside of you, your um, academic life. But I think that's the real uh, tricky part that students find difficult is all those things that they bottle up and don't share. If you come and share it with us, you know, within reason, and we're able to help you, 
you know, that's where you actually overcome a lot of the difficulties in your in your third level education journey. Brilliant. Yeah, that's kind of a message that we're hearing across the board is the main thing is to engage and link in. Don't wait until the problem's so big that you you feel you can't find a way around it. But if you link in early, people will support you. Yeah. And you'd be surprised how big problems become in people's said like I, I do it myself if I don't talk about it or share about it, you know, and you realize that actually, no, there's a way around this and we can navigate around a problem. Um, and oftentimes it's not as as big as people kind of think it is. So do come and talk to us if there's, you know, if there's something I'm really struggling with this or this is an issue for me uh, around my my writing or my academic skills in this area. Come and talk to us. We'll try to support you as best we can. And usually people are able to navigate past that problem once they do that. Brilliant. OK, thank you. That's really good advice. Thanks so much for that. OK, thanks a million, Sue.